You know, Wikipedia says that Hong Kong is more than 90% Chinese, as if we are a homogenous block of humanity. But the real story is that this community is more diverse than people think. Until the 1970s, the majority of Hong Kong people came from outside Hong Kong, including the city's Chinese population, who came from, from all directions. So historically, we've been a city of nomads. When Captain Charles Elliot first raised the flag on the Crown Colony of Hong Kong in 1841, he was accompanied by 2,700 people from South Asia. It was Indian people who started the Star Ferry and were key members of the teams that started HSBC and the University of Hong Kong. When the Hong Kong police started, there were more South Asian police officers than Chinese and European officers put together. Now some of you know I'm a bit skeptical about what the mainstream media says. They often imply that Hong Kong has become very unpopular after 1997 and everyone is leaving. That's not really true. Hong Kong's Chinese and non-Chinese populations have been growing steadily and that includes Indonesians, Filipinos, Caucasians and South Asians. For example, there are a little over 20,000 Indians here at the end of the British era. Today there are more than 45,000, almost double. There are many programs running to help newcomers settle in, including people from mainland China, which is of course where most of Hong Kong's residents originally come from. But I'm going to end this short talk with one little piece of information that many people don't know. Now, if you live in Hong Kong, you'll have heard of Chaita Road and Chaita House and Chaita Garden, named after some big wig called Paul Chaita, Sir Paul Chaita, right? Actually, in truth, he was a man from Calcutta, whose name was Astwachator, Astwachator. Uh, that was his family name, but the English couldn't pronounce that, so he changed it to Paul Chaita. Terribly English, Chaita, right? Now, Mr. Mr. Chaita, or Chator, was co-founder of Hong Kong Land, a company which dominates Central, our imaginatively named Central Business District. Mr. Chaita was also co-founder of Dairy Farm, which is the parent company of so many shops in Hong Kong, including all the welcome supermarkets, all the Hong Kong branches of IKEA, and every single 7-Eleven shop. So next time you pop into 7-Eleven to grab a snack, say a little thank you to Hong Kong's diverse community. Diversity can be a tricky thing for a community to come to terms with, but it's worth making the effort because it can become a community's greatest strength. Goodbye.